Ms. Brokaw, the school counselor. And today I have one of my favorite books, Howard B. Wigglebottom's Learn to Listen. I like this book because it reminds me the importance of listening. And it teaches me a few new strategies to help me become a better listener. I'm so excited that you're here to read with me. Let's follow along. Howard B. Wigglebottom Learns to Listen. Written by Howard Binkow. Illustrated by Suzanne F. Cornelison. Meet Howard B. Wigglebottom. Howard is always in trouble at school because, well, Howard just doesn't listen. During story time, instead of quietly listening, Howard bounces around the room. Howard B. Wigglebottom, please sit down, be quiet and listen. But Howard doesn't listen. Howard B. Wigglebottom, you are bouncing too close to the fan. But Howard doesn't listen. At lunchtime, his friends try to warn him. Hey, Howard, watch your step. But Howard doesn't listen. After lunch, Howard's friend tries to tell him something important. Blah, 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 blah. But Howard doesn't listen. On the playground, Howard's teammates try to help him. Keep your eye on the ball, Howard. Boink. But Howard doesn't listen. In the art room, the teacher reminds the class, kids, try to keep the paint on your paper. But Howard doesn't listen. So the teacher asks him to take a time out. He feels sad. Howard does not like being alone and in trouble. He thinks and thinks about his day. Howard makes up his mind. From that moment on, he will try very hard to be the best listener he can be. The next day, Howard does listen during story time. He waits for his turn to talk and then ask a question about the story. Howard gets a number one listener star because Howard is really listening. While walking home, Howard uses both his eyes and ears to help stay safe. Howard is really listening. When Howard gets home, he listens to his mother. Please hang up your backpack and clean up your room now. Howard is really listening. Okay, mom. So Howard gets extra time to play and have fun. Awesome ears, Howard. Howard B. Wigglebottom is really listening. Time for a bedtime story. Please brush your teeth first, Howard. Almost all of the time. Today's lesson, how to be a better listener. Number one, sit quietly. Number two, use both your eyes and your ears to help you listen. Number three, please don't interrupt. Wait your turn to talk. Number four, try your very best to understand the person speaking. Number five, ask questions if you don't understand. Number six, remember rules and directions. Number seven, pay attention. That means to be alert and really know what is happening around you. Here are a few questions that you can think about. 
What did you learn about listening from Howard B. Wigglebottom? What kind of trouble have you gotten into for not listening? How did it make you feel? How do you think Howard feels now that he's a better listener? If you listen better, what might happen to you? Thank you for joining me on this reading journey. Can't wait to see you next time.